So European title action for the second time tonight. And Kiko Martinez on the right, the challenger, eight years older. He's had around twice as many fights, boxed twice as many rounds, and has doubled the KO percentage of Jordan Gill, who in turn has gone unbeaten in five fights since that one loss on his record there on the left. So Jordan Gill making the first defence of the hard-won European featherweight title with the added target this time around of a potential shot at the IBF version of the world title, held at the moment by Josh Warrington, who defends that title here on the zone in around six weeks' time against Luis Alberto Lopez. It is Ellie Scott that you were saying earlier on, rather than look ahead, it's about getting it right here tonight and an accurate start from Jordan Gill. A confident start inside the first half a minute or so. Yeah, this could be fight of the night, Mike. When I look at this stylistically, I think the styles will gel. Kiko's going to swarm all over Jordan Gill. So well seasoned, so fit, trains all year round. Good left hook inside from Kiko. Jordan Gill, very relaxed, gets into a rhythm very quickly, good on his feet, he's got a lovely jab, can't afford to pour that jab out against Kiko, who will look for the overhand right. Just exclaimed there, Darren, as Kiko Martinez left him with a left hook. He may have felt that one, Jordan Gill, for a split second, the legs seem to wobble ever so slightly. I've touched on in that first round, he's a massive punch with both hands, and that left hook seemed to a slight bit of bother to Jordan Gill back on the jab moving nicely he's seen it all before Kiko Martinez hasn't he he's a veteran plowing forward he moves his head he's tough to land clean with the, the size of him it's hard punching down at times so he makes that kind of disadvantage work for him it's the 57th fight of his professional career, over 330 rounds. There won't be a style that he hasn't faced as Jordan Gill tees off. Lovely straight right, straight left. So a lively and evenly contested second round as Martinez gets straight on the front foot at the beginning of the third, having landed those solid left hooks in the second. Gill, again, trying to get to work behind the jab. The straight shots have been successful for him so far. He's got to keep sharp with that jab, just a slip on the ropes there from Gil. Oh, the referee believes that the right hand that got through did actually land on the chin, and so a count for Jordan Gill in the early stages of the third round. How can Martinez follow up now? How many of those bullets has he got left? He said this is his last chance, and he lands another right hand onto the side of the jaw of Jordan Gill. David Colwell, his trainer, was telling me this morning they work on crisis moments. That's why he didn't pull him out of that fight against Guilfi. And this is building towards another crisis moment for Jordan Gill. He swings with the left hook. Martinez sees it coming and this slides underneath, looking to build another attack. Is this yet another rejuvenation of 36-year-old Kiko Martinez so many times written off? Applause for the work of Jordan Gill in the corner, Darren. He is absolutely relentless, Martinez. Good right hand on the back foot from Jordan Gill. I thought there was a slip. I didn't actually see the shot, but there was no complaints by Jordan Gill. He takes another right hand from Martinez. Side right hand from the Spaniard. Taken well this time by Jordan Gill. We'll have a look at the end of the round as to see whether that first shot that the referee ruled a knockdown did get through the gloves and did land as Martinez swings with that left hook. Virtually just grazes the side of the face of Gill. Gets shot to the body from Gill this time. Gets back onto his feet. Seems to have regained his composure inside the final minute of the third round. He'll like the way this is going, Martinez. He's in a real rhythm, aggressive on the front foot. Trains all year round. He's extremely fit. So if you allow him to get into this sort of rhythm, marching forward, this is his bread and butter, loading up and missing with that right hand over the top. This is where Jordan Gill's got to stay, try and hold the centre of the ring, work from the middle, doesn't need to be getting backed up. March beneath both eyes for Jordan Gill, 
and we've still got 25 seconds to go in the third round as Martinez again marches after his man. Gil once again sees that looping right hand coming and swings right down the uppercut. Mid. Brilliant right uppercut from Kiko Martinez and Jordan Gill down for the second time in the third round. The referee now takes up the count once again. Gill looks across at David Colwell in the corner. This is another of those crisis moments for Jordan Gill in the first defence of his European title. This is all Kiko Martinez at the minute, looking so dangerous, looking so spiteful, hurtful with every shot he lands. Good response from Gill, right hand, left hand. Good work to the body too, he's soaking it all up, Kiko Martinez. Terrific work on the inside from Gill with the shots to the body and following up to the head, but still Martinez marches forward. How demoralising will that be for Gill, having landed such solid shots and seeing them have very little effect on the Spaniard. Into the second minute of round four, and it's once again Jordan Gill on the back foot. His legs look un unsteady there, Mike, as he was going back, and again, you oh, see that right cuffing, hand yeah. from Martinez, and he knows when to follow up works his way in. There's a composure about Martinez. There's an extra speed to his shots in this round. He's deployed by the success of the previous round. Gill does land a right hand over the top. We know from that performance against Gierpi that he can pull out the miracle. There's another right hand lands through and he's down and yet again gets up very, very quickly this time around as the referee starts to count once again. It's another pinpoint right hand. The referee's having a long look. There's a minute to go in the fourth. Martinez on fire at the age of 36. This is a man fighting like it is his last opportunity. He's a man possessed, really, really landing heavy blows. Jordan Gill looks in an awful lot of trouble here. Can't seem to miss with the right hand. Martinez measuring the distance, stepping in in composed style. Now steps across to cut off the possible escape routes for Jordan Gill, who backs up. Can he somehow regain some kind of equilibrium here at this stage? Half a minute to go in the fourth round. Torrid times once again for Jordan Gill, and he goes down once again for the fourth time in the contest, this time from a left hook. And this time, David Colwell is up on the ring apron as the referee also decides but Jordan Gill has taken enough punishment here and Kiko Martinez is roaring at ringside I'd suggest at the people who once again wrote him off because at the age of 36 he said in the five week build up this is my last bullet and my how he found the target to become European champion again Ladies and gentlemen, referee Giuseppe Cordarone calls a halt to this contest on the advice of the blue corner. The official time of the stoppage, two minutes and 44 seconds of round number four. Your winner by TKO, he's now in line for an IBF world title shot and the new European featherweight champion, Kiko La Sensacion.